lives and worked yet miracles in me. I wouldn't, I would not, uh, I would not have made it. I would have, as David said, I would have fainted. Yes, I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You know, there are things that happen when confusion comes and, and people want to all give you advice. You know, it's like being locked out, oh Shabbat. And everybody knows where you are, oh Shabbat, but they can't tell you where you're going and they really don't even understand the space that you're in because of the things that are going on in the mind, in that space in the natural. To them, it's, it's like an everyday thing, you know. I was talking to someone today and well, well maybe two people today and you know the, the the this this individual they were genuinely wanting to know how I was doing you understand what I'm saying and that was like a jolt of lifting the spirit uh, uh you know what comes from the heart reaches the heart. But then you can talk to uh, 20 other people and they're never really concerned or God hasn't given the concern about the burden and the things that we're struggling with. In Genesis 11, 1 and 9, and he and the whole earth was on one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there, and they said one to another, Go to, and let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go and let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to and let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad, abroad from thence upon the face of the earth and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name called Babel because the Lord did their confound the language of all the earth and thence did he the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth see there are often times where God will confuse different he will he will confound things and so that different people and things can't they, they don't come together there was a time where there was this oneness but in all times he, you can't you can't confine or confide in all people you are there's certain people that in the spirit realm the things you're going through listen ain't no need in telling them oh Shabbat I got somebody that I've been talking to almost on a daily basis and I understand what they're going through and yet it's not important uh, 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 where I'm at because as my position is is for the others or Shabbat it is for the others and you know you have to you have to be mindful of what you're doing and so I was sitting down early today and I asked someone a question now um, it was so funny a young lady had a shirt on, right? And they called this shirt the church shirt. Now, I was trying to understand what the church shirt meant. I was like, well, what is a church shirt? You know, and I just happened to, you know, I was on the phone. I happened to overhear him talking. And what is a church shirt? So the the, the, the individual said to me, the shirt, the, the shirt that you gave, that, that you gave the person, you gave this person a shirt. And, you know, I said, well, what made them call it the church shirt? Well, that's what they called it at school. At school, they weren't allowed to wear the certain thing. But the scripture, like, you know, bubbled up in me. And I asked the, the mother, I said, well, what do you think about, what do you think about that position? The school, uh, you know, they don't want you to wear anything that has, uh, I guess, that comes with religion. you got to sign some type of waiver. Now, the shirt says on in Ecclesiastes 9-11, I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, 
nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned. But the Bible says, but time and chance happen to them all. In Ecclesiastes 9 and 11, I'm telling you right now, don't be confused. I will use this, saith the Lord, and you for my glory. I don't care what you're going through and what it ends. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care what it looks like. Uh-huh. Listen, ain't no need in you getting worried about nothing today. Oh, Shabbat. I'm telling you right now, I speak faith to you, woman out there, woman of God, man of God. God knows where you are, oh, Shabbat. And he is going to deliver Ushaba. I prophesy to you even as the prophecy was in Isaiah Ushaba. I'm telling you right now the reason why you're going through uh, uh, uh -huh. and the reason why it seems like so much confusion and this and that and, and people don't understand it well God has placed you in time. You're part of the redemption. You're part of the things of God. Oh, Shabbat. God has developed you, informed you, oh, Shabbat, for the others. And da -da 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 in this situation and circumstances, God shall be glorified. I heard God say, tell them. Uh -huh. He said, what, what you want me to do, God? He said, Zari, guess what, son? Don't be confused, oh, Shabbat. Listen, tell yourself, don't be confused, oh, Shabbat. I will use this and you for my glory. I'm better than the Osiah. I will use this and you for my glory. I shall be glorified. I'm better than the Osiah. So the Lord yet prophesies to us today. God makes a proclamation for you that are going through rough places. And some of you, if you're not there today, it may happen tomorrow. Hold on to this message. Ushaba. In the book of Isaiah 9, chapter 9. For time's sake, let's go down to verse 3. Thou hast multiplied the nations and not increased the joy. The joy before thee according to the joy in the harvest. And as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. O Shepherd, bless his name. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder the rod of the oppressor as in the day of Midian. For every battle of, a, of the warrior is with confused noise. Oh, I got to say that again. I want you to get it in your spirit. He says here, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Is there anybody talking to you? Is there anybody saying something with confused noise? You may have gotten an accident. You may, uh, uh, the wind may cause confusion. The thunder and the lightning, oh Shabbat, somebody babbling off under the video side, saying something different. These things cause confusion. And the Bible says, he says here, and I want you to get it in your spirit, for every battle of the warrior, worry, is there anybody, I'm speaking to the warrior, oh Shabbat. I'm not talking to somebody that's not in battle. I'm not talking to somebody that's not going to seminary and studying God's word. I'm not talking to you that's not praying and fasting under the Diosa. I'm not necessarily talking to you tonight that are not living holy, oh Shabbat. I'm not talking to you that are not steadfast and move. but I'm talking to some warriors under the Diosa. I'm telling you, even as I'm speaking to you tonight, I can see in a vision that God has us all in cup, O Shabbat. And as we continue to talk through this tonight, that cup is ascending, O Shabbat. It's going from glory to glory to glory here. There is a realm that we haven't reached, O Shabbat, that we're about to partake of tonight under the Diosiah. And so here under the Diosiah, I'm going to move forward, but for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And the garments rolled in the blood, O Shabbat. Uh-huh. The garments rolled in them. Nothing happens. Nothing is purified without the sacrifice of the blood. And so we're rolled in the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus under the Neosiah. But this shall be with a burning and fuel of what? Fuel of fire under the Osiah. I often talk about, and I felt it today, the blazing fire of the Holy Ghost. I could not get away from this today, Oshaba. I was talking, so I said, look, I got to go, Oshaba. I feel something coming over me, Oshaba. Now, under the Osiah, see, the enemy tried to bring confusion, Oshaba. And the Lord said, don't be confused, because even in this space, Oshaba, if you'll give it up, Oshaba, I'll use you in this space, and son, I will yet be glad. 
glorified under the Neosiah. You are my servant under the Neosiah. And I strengthen you today. And now we move down. He says what? For unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace <laughs> oh shaba i'm telling you after the noise oh shaba after the confused noise oh shaba for the warrior under the neosia look what god brings forth i prophesy to you something is about to break under the neosia the ashabo god has brought this confusion, O Shabbat, and made you a deliverer. I'm not a little sire. Some of you will deliver a word, O Shabbat. Some of you will deliver healing under the Neosiah. Some of you will deliver prophecy, O Shabbat. But be it known unto you this day, O Shabbat, God has made you a deliverer under the Neosiah. He's connected you to the Almighty Prince of Peace, the deliverer, O Shabbat. O oh, bless his name of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end O Shabbat. it's endless to what god is going to do O Shabbat. lift your hands up and say i receive you lord O Shabbat. i receive it under the video sire oh bless his name under the video sire under the video sire upon the thorn throne of david and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forevermore the zeal of the lord of hosts will perform this under the video sire you better open up your mouth and say yes lord oh shabbat open up your mouth and say god i receive you oh shabbat i'm talking to somebody under the video sire it's important for you not to be weary and well doing oh shabbat i know the enemy uh, he's got it all stays like this is a traumatic thing oh shabbat the enemy's got it to stay like it's the vast and uh, listen everything's going to crumble why me? It's like my whole world can about to, to crumble, oh Shabbat. You know, I called a couple people. I didn't call everybody, oh Shabbat. But I called a couple people and I said, listen, I just need you to pray for me, oh Shabbat. And even in spite of it, under the Neosiah, I feel God yet moving, under the Neosiah. I got a hold of myself, under the Neosiah, and said, let me fix it up, oh Shabbat. See, when God is upon you, under the Neosiah, with the enemy is thrown, under the Neosiah, when you realize O Shabbat, that I am a deliverer under the Yosai. When you realize, O Shabbat, the word of God said, don't be confused, O Shabbat, Zari. I will use this, O Shabbat, uh -huh, and you for my glory under the Yosai. I'm talking about the space called God under the Yosai. I'm talking about a God experience, O Shabbat. I'm talking about under the Yosai, a God exposing himself to us under the Yosai. Lift your hands up and say yes. Lord. I feel the Lord all over me. I'm done the Osaya. Quicken thy me in your word, O Shabbat. I know we're going to come through this. I'm done the Osaya. God has a plan. I'm done the Osaya. Yeah, Though they slay me, O Shabbat, yet will I trust them. I'm done the Osaya. Oh, bless his holy name under the DDOC. Oh, bless his holy name under the Lord Osiah. I give thy name glory in Acts, O Shabbat, 19 and 32. Some therefore cried oh, one thing, O Shabbat, and some another under the Osiah. For the assembly was confused, and the more part knew not wherefore they were come together, O Shabbat. And that's why you can't share everything with somebody. Let me tell you something. You may have gotten locked out under the Osiah, but guess what? God locked you into him, O Shabbat. Uh-huh. When you get to the place of understanding that God is in control, it's not like under the Osiah. It's not like when it looks like on the outside. And it's imperative that you don't pay people that only see things on the outside, O Shabbat. I heard under the the Osiah, a prophet O Shabbat say to me, I had a dream and you were just spinning around and spinning and spinning and then at the end of it you open up your hands O Shabbat and your hands were stretched out under the Osiah, uh, well what does that mean under the Osiah, God is yet speaking under the Osiah God is talking under the Osiah 
I went and I had to go and uh, I went to go get a package on Friday. And uh, uh, I went to go, when I went there, I was going and, and I, I, I knew that I would see someone. You understand what I'm saying? And you could just see them when they were coming to approach me. Their face just lit up Oshaba. And what was God doing? God was.